Definitely different, but right. uh, but we don't got to worry about John for the time being. It's going to be Sinji, and the first bout of the Palutena Gauntlet is going to be Odyssey here in Winner's Final, so this is going to be our first best of five for the evening. And we're starting things off with Final Destination. Yeah, Odyssey, I got to say, like, I really liked his Fox in Smash 4, and I really like similar traits in his... Hold on. Yeah, no, that's not going to work. <laughs> Sinji has so many recovery options, dude. But you might as well try the explosive flame. It can work out, but it's it's gonna be a little tougher to catch Sinji than it than it was catching uh, Ling Ling's Peach, for example. Yeah, explosive flame is gonna be one of those tools where you're gonna have to like really trace where Pac-Man wants to go. If you're gonna look to punish the side B, you have to keep in mind it's got a lot of armor on it. And on top of that, if you're looking to just put, place it wherever it lands, you have to follow where's Pac-Man going to draw the line. Wow, the recognition by Sinji. He. Got that, that scaredy little uh, directional air dodge. Able to punish the lag right there completely with the stun and the forward smash. Very nice by Sinji. Wow, that was crazy. Okay. I, I think love the way he's using that forward air too. Like, it, it kind of showing that you can like a little bit aggressive approach with Pac-Man and turn it on when you want to. And I got to say too, Hangman, his grab is a lot better in this game. But wow, the turnaround forward smash. Very nice. I think he was facing that way actually. But forward smash either way. Or up smash. What am I talking about yeah, right it's, now? It, it's weird because it's it's so far ahead of him. It, it has a wider hitbox than it did in Smash 4. It reaches so far up, but I digress. Uh, Pac-Man has a lot in his kit that lets him fight a character like this. Uh, mostly in that Sinji's always been one of the Pac-Man that's able to like press forward with his kit as he sets his traps. So you're going to see a lot of up air, a lot of neutral air, a lot of forward air. As Sinji tries to move forward with his bonus fruit, the fire hydrant, um, what I don't expect to see a lot of is trampoline. We normally see trampoline set up as a ground trap for uh, for Pac-Man, so that Sinji limits movement options. But we know that there's going to be a lot of airplay when it comes to fighting Palutena. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as you said that, I mean, you can still make use of it, even if it's not going to be as common in a matchup. It can definitely cut off, some, like, he's playing against Little Mac, you know, that thing's going to be on the ground all the time. But against Palu, you know, you might want to do it every once in a while, but either way, both these players duking it out. Let's see. It, it's interesting because I feel like in this game, there's so many characters where there's so many things you have to keep track of when you're fighting them. For example, Snake, the one, you know, popular character. You, oh, hold on, grab. Right. Oh, the combos? Up airs? It's nice. Good jump out by Adi, though. But you got to keep pay attention to so many things when you're fighting Snake. Pac-Man's the same way. You got to pay attention to, okay, the trampoline. Is it down? If it is, how many jumps are left on it? Oh, the forward smash. He just went right into it. Rare misplay by Sinji. I mean, I feel like he's so patient, so good at recognizing situations, and he just, he just, that was just a misplay straight up. Yeah, there's not a lot of options Pac-Man has because that forward smash covers so much at the ledge. You would have had to have dropped down and then do something at the ledge. Deal with right. Palutena controlling the ledge. He would have been alive, possibly. But a Anything's better than what happened. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nonetheless, it's it's still a very doable match for, right. for Sinji. He's not really having that much trouble with building a percentage as uh, shown on Adi sitting at 101. Obviously, but, yeah. Obviously, stocks. He was respecting that belt, just holding the shield, man. That used to just be the forbidden strategy against Pac-Man. Up smash, a little bit of charge, too. Great knowledge by Sinji. I mean, you want to talk about people who have been playing their characters for a really long time. We were talking about John numbers earlier. His his counterpart or his rival, whatever you want to call them, they're weirdly their fates are weirdly intertwined somehow, playing these lower tier characters in Smash 4. Sinji's sticking with it though, and Pac-Man definitely looks like a stronger character, but I'm talking about a character that got stronger between the two games. Palutena, definitely one of them as well. Good mix-ups there by Sinji. No one thought he was going to go back to the platform. I definitely didn't at least. Odyssey didn't. He forward smashed the other way. I actually really like the forward smash option. Mm -hmm. If it was aimed properly, even if it didn't hit the wind box from it, would have ended up moving Pac-Man away while he was in free fall, and that yep. would have been disastrous for Sinji. Totally. It was a great option by Odyssey, but Sinji just picked the better one. Here we go. Sinji trying to fight his way off the ledge. Definitely really scary against Palutena, as Odyssey showed in that second stock. Go, though. Good use of the key, though. And just like that, Sinji's in the lead. I feel like Odyssey, like, he had the lead for such a long time. But the lead against Pac-Man, like, his strategy doesn't really change. Like, he's still going to sit back and just wait for you to do something and, and throw the project, the best projectile for the situation. Up smash is going to reach. Yes, it is. And it's going to take the stock. Sinji, three bells into smashes to take it. That is really, really clutch Pac-Man play by Sinji. He was down uh, after the second stock. Able to make it work out though. It's just a matter of Sinji knowing his tools so well. The fact that Bell is like naturally very solid anti air because yes. it has that upwards arc, it's gonna cover a lot of that aerial play that Adi's gonna wanna go for. And it just so happens that he's always catching Adi on the short hop. So he's without a doubt gonna be able to reach with a lot of his up smashes. Uh, it looks yep. like we're going back into Final Destination for game two. Uh, 
I'm curious to see if Ani's forced to switch at any point. Looks like he's going to go back on Palutena, and I feel like Palutena is the better one, but Ani yeah. does have his Fox at his disposal. Yeah, that's right. And I I think, too, like an interesting point is if I heard correctly, like Sinji and Light have played a couple times already in Ultimate, and I think Light defeated him in two sets. Yeah, I'm getting the nod from Devin, so that's got to be good information. He wouldn't, he wouldn't do me dirty like that, but <laughs> so it looks like, but I mean, Light... Lights Fox, Odyssey's. I haven't really seen Odyssey's Fox in this game, but Lights Fox is obviously one of the best in the world. So it's gonna be just because it's Light on Fox doing it doesn't mean that it's Fox necessarily. You know what I mean? Causing causing the uh, the W. Of course. And the way that it sits now, Adi has Fox more in the pocket and he's practicing it more. The Palutena is a lot more polished, and that's very indicative of the fact that we're sitting here in Winners Finals with it. But at the same time, I feel like it's also a completely different approach to the game, where. With Fox, you're constantly threatening landings. You gotta try to juggle. You gotta try and trap the ledge. Palutena, it's a lot more fight in the air. It's a lot minim more minimalist, I keep saying, because it's like, Nair does so much work for you. Bear is so safe to poke around with. Ooh, look for the counter off stage. I mean, going off stage again against Pac-Man, I like, you gotta mix it up. I don't, I don't care how good a character's recovery is. Sometimes you gotta get out there and look at that explosive flame. Catching him, Odyssey. See what he can find now, respecting Sinji's side B. Just keeping him at the ledge, though. Good roll on by Sinji and getting the forward tilt, too. Unable to find anything with that hydrant, though. The fact that Sinji's been able to poke away at a lot of these offenses from Adi is also fascinating, because it's like Pac-Man's not known for having that great of boxing tools. We see Sinji do well, but right. as a whole, he doesn't have a lot of range. His normals are kind of stubby, and he doesn't really have the speed to be considered in the same range of brawlers like Falcon or Mario or even the Spaceys. But we see Sinji putting a lot of good use into that quick forward air, which you highlighted earlier. Neutral air has been a great breakaway tool for Sinji. Oh, trying to time that. That was so cool. I was like, what is he going to do here? Because Odyssey was in such an awkward position. Sinji, though, he always has the answer. Yeah, unable to find it, but I love what he was looking for. Yeah, the spacing on that particular trap has seemed to have changed for Smash 4. Um, my guess, Sinji's best bet would be to throw down a Hydrant while they're stunned because he's missed that down smash on multiple occasions, and ooh, this is a point in the game where you cannot afford to be missing those. Right. Absolutely, I mean, think of how different the match would be right now if Sinji was able to hit that down smash or connect with something like a Hydrant and get a KO. The lead would be in his favor, he'd be running away a little bit more, you know, controlling the tempo of the match. Good snag of the apple by Odyssey, he throws it back too. An interesting option too, like an option you have when you have the fruit, is hold on to it. It's one of Pac-Man's, I'd say probably his best option that he has actually in terms of controlling the match. You can hold on to it and make him wait. If you just throw it back to him, I kind of feel like you're doing him a favor. You bring up an excellent point, and I always like to highlight, like, like, item play is so big, especially for Sinji. Not even just Pac-Man, but Sinji bases so much of his Pac-Man play around what he can do with the bonus fruits mm -hmm. and the infinite options that are available to him. If you hold on to it, he can't spawn another one, and you still have access to plenty of your kit between Palutena always having her auto reticle and explosive flame, and then if you Z-drop the, the bonus fruit, then you have your aerials available to you. I like that ledge play by Odyssey too. It's so easy to get antsy when that bell is flying at you. You want to trigger pull a roll or a ledge jump, but Sinji waits for that stuff. Good, good knowledge by Odyssey and, and really good discipline too. Okay. Wow, oh. I like that footstool attempt, but he got a grab afterwards too. That was just really good option coverage by Odyssey. He couldn't get any cool fruit combos, but he was able to get the grab. And now we're seeing Sinji really needs to make this comeback happen quickly. Well, I don't think it's going to be his plan though. Yeah, <laughs> He's nah, going to take is... it nice and slow. This is still Sinji we're talking yeah, right, about. Right, yeah. And, and it's still back, man. He has a lot of tools, but they take a good amount of thought. You can't really rush them. And especially in the situation that's at hand, if Sinji's not careful, he can leave Odyssey with a two-stock lead. And at that point, really? he's so really? close to being able to tie it up. But grab say otherwise. In, in my mind, like that interaction where they're both hugging shield next to each other for a while, that could have ended in a lot of different ways. Pac-Man grab towards the bottom of that list, to be honest with you. Yeah, the, the move is not nearly as much of a joke as it used to be, but yeah. it's still not fantastic. Right? It doesn't have that much range, and Pac-Man genuinely doesn't get that much off of it. I think it's just the fact that he can just threaten space with Ooh. it. Good knowledge right there. I mean, that could have shield, that Hydra could have shield hooked very easily. Instead, the backer is going to connect and take it. It's a good parry by Sinji, though. He kept himself alive you know, a couple seconds longer until he ate the back air, but either way, it's just good, good knowledge, as we always see from him. It's just a matter of figuring out how Sinji's going to approach this because even though he's sitting fresh on his last stock, it is his last stock. Meanwhile, Adi's still sitting clean with a stock in reserve. Yeah, I mean, Odyssey, if I'm Odyssey right now, I'm kind of looking at the clock like, all right, two minutes, 30 seconds. If I run away and I start to be the, you know, start setting up the camp, you know, popping open the tent, making the fire, making the s'mores, doing all that stuff, he's the one who has to approach me. And does Pac Man really have what it takes? 
it's kind of a gut check. Like, Sinji, do you have what it takes? Like, you've, you've kind of dictated the pace of this match. Can you take it home if you only have two minutes on the clock, a stock to take, and then a little percentage? We're going to find out. We've already seen early on into this set that Sinji's not afraid to get aggressive with Pac-Man's tools, even though they're not really designed for that. Right. Yeah, I mean, he kind of set he kind of sent a message very early on with those forward airs, and now we see a little bit of the advantage coming out. Odyssey tossing that apple away. Fights his way back, though. Very good stuff. Maneuvering around the Pac-Man options, but that, okay. The Hydrant fighting against the Nair is a very good option. Let's see what we can find here now for both players. Oh, good air dodge by Odyssey. That was very nice. And one thing you always have to remember when fighting against Sinji is that, that he's always got one more trick up his sleeve. There's always something that he's practiced in the lab, something that he's read online, something he's seen other Pac-Man do, and he holds on to that for when you're not paying attention. Not only that, but he wrote the book on Pac-Man. You know what I mean? Like, I don't even know, like, does he just study himself? I don't understand. Ooh, that grab, barely getting Odyssey. You saw him reel back in his chair a little bit. He did not like that. That was dirty. He tried pushing Adi into a position where he could get shield poked by the bell. That's devious. That's one of those things like, I'm talking about. It was like those little things to watch out for. Now, Adi was safe in that situation, but maybe another time. Maybe that'll work. Maybe that'll leave an opening for Sinji. I like how Adi faded. He feigned right there that he was going to attack uh, Sinji while he's side being. Instead, he just dipped out. He said, you know what? I have the lead. I'm going to relax. There's 50 seconds left on the clock. Let's, let's just chill out a little bit and see what happens here. If I'm... Sinji, I gotta figure out something quick to take the stock, and then Odyssey can sit in the platform. I don't know, man. This is this is looking like it's probably not gonna happen for Sinji, but if it does, it'd be one of the most amazing comebacks I've ever seen. Yeah, you can see him throwing out the smashes now too. He would end up having less than 30 seconds realistically to try and end out an entire stock on Adi, who at this point in the game, he is not afraid to go for the clock. A win's a win, man. And especially when you have to consider that he's trying to tie Chill it up on, on the, the board. Platform? Oh, what? What? Whoa, 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 Yo, he came right off that And then he's going off stage. Okay, I don't like this because this is exactly what Sinji wants to see. That's 40%. Odyssey could just be coming out of invincibility like two or four or five seconds ago. It said he ate 40%. Oh, no. What is going on here? Sinji, are you serious? Are you going to make this happen? Are you kidding me? Oh, Bro. my God. He almost no. did. Oh, my no. God. Oh, my God. He almost went and did why? it. Why? Odyssey, why? He just made it so much more stressful on me, on you, <laughs> on himself. Sinji, that's exactly what Sinji wanted. He almost played exactly into it. Oh, my God, dude. Great day I kept oh Adi in it. But look at the situation. If he charged that a little bit longer, oh that would have been it. Adi would have been kicking himself, man. You have to be kidding me. I The second he jumped off, and then Sinji went on stage too, right? And that was the greatest bait that we saw probably all game. He's like, come out and get me. And Odyssey's like, yeah, I'll do it. He's got that He's got that young man flow. You know, he's like, I'm going out there. I'll get you. I'll get you. I don't even care. Look at him. He's still pumped up. Oh, my God, dude. I can't believe that. Welcome to New York, Az. <laughs> yeah, right? You said it. Taylor Swift said it. It's great. <laughs> All right, so 1-1 one, one on the board. We're bringing ourselves back to Final Destination. And Sinji, no fear. I think that's been stated perfectly clear. But Adi's still playing really well. And even though he ate massive damage towards the end of that uh, that game, it just goes to show like Adi's able to play with the lead really well. He's able to control space. But Sinji will not be denied. Right. And look at Sinji, too. I mean, one thing I really respect about him, obviously, like, his pacing and his general tempo is kind of slower. He wants you to, he knows, he understands his character's advantages. Hold on. Oh, he grabs the bell too. That was cute. Okay. Okay, Sinji. All right. He, he understands that Pac-Man's advantages come from a long range. So, ooh, good use of the back of the challenging the bell. Very smart. Sorry, I keep getting cut off by this by this action, but Sinji's so good at fighting from the long range. Why press the issue? Why get close? But you saw he's able to really hit the acceleration when he needs to. It's coming down to the last five seconds of that match. He almost clutched that out. Oh, my God. I mean, you, you asked the question best. Is ooh. Sinji ready to do it? And I think this is just going to show, man. Oh. Like, you got to be ready all the time. And thanks to the trampoline, we're not going to see the down air take a stock, but hey, Adi's ready to pull the trigger just as willing as Sinji is. Hey, probably more. I mean, if anything in that last stock in that last game indicated, oh my god, Adi wants to fight. He, I feel like he just didn't want to go for the timeout back air. Very close. Sinji holding on. If I'm Adi, I'm so frustrated right now between the down air not KOing and that back air coming so close. And now you have to fight Sinji's Rage Pac-Man? Not good. Yeah, it just leaves yourself in a weird situation now because it's like Pac-Man's building up extra damage. Sinji doesn't need to get aggressive, but he's going to. It just it ends up being a very frustrating battle at this point because Sinji's just going to keep on getting away with his game plan, and you're constantly just sitting there like, well, how do I kill him? Right. 
And, and you know what? And that's exactly the game plan that Sinji wants to have. Is like, I want to barely live. I want you to feel frustrated. I want to kill you with an up smash instead. Odyssey's thinking right now, man, if that down air or that back air KO'd, I'd be feeling much better about this situation. But instead, Sinji taking off the belief big time. Oh, God. And those combos <laughs> coming out, too. Yeah, when you see the Galaga ship, you already know at least 30% is getting built up onto the opponent. Oh, yeah. Each time, too. It's, it's one of those things where... Uh, once you get to about 80%, then yeah, it's a no-go, but... Yeah, and the Galaga ship is how he started making that comeback in-game, too, like at the almost the buzzer beater that Sinji had. That was just absolutely nuts. Either case, though, he's sitting on a very nice two-stock lead. Odyssey still on the hunt for this KO. Can't find it. At this point, I feel like he's shown the backer so many times. I feel like a Tomahawk would be a powerful tool right now. You can see Odyssey is really just looking for the KO, and so is Sinji, fun funnily enough. Sinji's wild, man. <laughs> yeah, he is. Like, it's a wild, wild ride with Sinji. I brought this up as a little footnote earlier on into the set. I'll tell you about it. That side B has armor, a lot of it. Oh, yeah. More than you would expect. So it's going to be very difficult oh, for Adi to challenge that. <laughs> it's like Houdini, dude. He just keeps falling out of these KO options. Yep. You, oh, you spiked me? Never mind. I got a trampoline. Oh, back air me? Never mind. I got a good DI. Oh, you forward tilted me? Never mind. I'm out. He doesn't want to. Oh, never, now he's really out. <laughs> we'll be seeing that stuff. Back throw, Odyssey. If I'm him. If I'm Odyssey, I just run off right now. I'll be like, okay, I got the stock. I'm going on the next game. Look at the shield pressure coming up from Sinji too. He's not he's not going on to the next game without taking the the, uh, the match win with him. Like he's putting on so much pressure on Adi. He's forcing Adi to second guess so much. Interesting. I feel like he should have gone for a back air, at least some guaranteed stuff there, just keep the pressure on. Because I saw Odyssey man in his player camp shaking his head quite a bit, and that's exactly what Sinji wants to see and feel in the gameplay. Oh yeah, Adi got caught out on the apex of the bell, so it was too high for oh. a uh, full hot back air. But that will do that plenty of killing. This Look at that. Saying. This is what I'm saying. Odyssey, he's got to compose himself. He did a really good job. Game two, playing the whole seven, eight minutes. What do you guys have here? Eight minutes? Seven. Uh, how's that? Felt, felt like thirty. Seven. You're holding up the. Okay, you did the. Okay. Yeah, that was, hold I was on, like, I was hold like on. six. De Devin three thousand is holding up hazmat by finger point as we speak. <laughs> New England, please send help. Please do. <laughs> uh, we got, but Odyssey played. You gotta be prepared for that. Like you might be playing the whole seven minutes. You gotta buckle in for that. You gotta play nice and chill. Looks like for the first time in the set, we're gonna see a change of scenery. Running it to town and city. Good call out with Odyssey right away. You gotta keep playing that way though. You just gotta keep winning neutral. Don't overstay your welcome when you're in a good situation either, because that's what Sinji waits for. Now I'm curious to see how this. Uh change of setting is going to impact things. Just because uh, even though this is hazardous town and city, it's still going to have its transitioning platforms. It's still going to find itself in a position where we sit at a uh, final destination phase for a very small amount of time. Uh, and we're going to be going into that right now. I'm curious to see which of these players really takes advantage of the transitioning period and if the platforms really come into play. Because I feel like the stage pick may have just been for the fact that the stage has larger blast zones than most. Right. Duking it out. Looks like Odyssey able to find a couple back airs there, but he can't. Okay, you just gotta, you gotta chill though. I like the ways, you know, he'll run in. Okay, he'll eat the hydro. That's okay though, it's okay. And stuff like that is bound to happen. You can't really let it get in your head, you know? You're bound to run into projectiles. You're fighting against Sinji. Like, it's, that's 100% his job. He's gonna do it. He's so good at it. Yeah, auto reticle is, in most situations, a great tool just for pressing the envelope on, like, getting a response out of your opponent. Not so much against Pac Man, because every, just standing there for a little bit, is not something that you want to do. You have the fire hydrant, the bonus fruit, everything coming at you. But Adi's looking for responses, and he's finding them. Yeah, I like that a lot. The early KO. Oh, steal that. Oh, okay. Nope. <laughs> Sinji just okay. I like how he looked for more offense, though, because obviously we're all looking at, you know, the dropped item. What What even is that? What, pellet? Is that yeah. what it is? It's a pellet, right? So that's the power pellet. Power at the end pellet. of the side B, um, it'll heal 1%. But we're all thinking... Odyssey should go for that, and instead he went for the offense. I liked it. That was a good mix-up. He hits that forward air. It's better than 1%. Right. Snag two. Odyssey, again, just playing this matchup really well, really fluidly. This is looking a lot like game two. Ooh, Bell gets revisited. That is interesting as well. Trying to use the Bell setup for the uh, the Hydrant, even though Adi was set up really Ooh. high. I guess Sinji just trying to cover all the bases in this, and that's something you always have to do, especially in like how tense of a situation this is, because look at that. As you even up the stock count, and this is with, with Sinji sitting the match up. He's looking for his uh -oh. seat in Grand Finals. 41%, like you said. Spaceship doing so much damage. 
See, it, that's the interesting thing too. You gotta play around both the loops. So you gotta look for the first one, see what happens, how it curls around the second time, how you gotta move around it. See what Sinji's looking for too. You gotta keep your eye on the Pac-Man and on the items. It's crazy. You, got, you have to have like some sort of ADD, you know, to keep up with everything. Yeah, there's so many little details that you have to be aware of when fighting Sinji. And on top of all of that, like Sinji will mix up what he's doing with Pac-Man himself. The aerials that he uses, the normals that he decides to pressure with. Like, what are his combo pieces? Like, it's like playing like Roller Coaster Tycoon. There's oh. so many little things you gotta watch for, and if you're not paying attention, it's not a fun time for anyone. That's right. Yeah, you got passengers falling out of their seats. Our bird's heads are falling off. I gotta say, Pac-Man's Pac parry animation is super hilarious. It's it's funny how they gave some characters like the coolest parry animation in the world. Their eyes are glowing yellow, they look intimidating. Oh god, that down smash. Ooh. Cover some options, baby. Good job by Sinji retaking the lead here in game four. Look at, look at to punch his way into uh, Winter's side of Grant. Yo, he continued that combo with a down air, hello? Sinji's rewriting the book. He's looking to put out that revision stack because he got 45% off of one combo. Now look at the percentage that's on board. Sinji's chilling, even though he's at 126, he's still got a stock in reserve. Yeah, I mean, if you're Sinji, this is exactly what you want to see on the board. Stock lead, you're chilling. Oh, and honestly, can't grab the bell again. I feel like I saw that last game too. It's kind of quick. You have to react to it pretty quick. Yeah, they uh, they kind of nerfed. Right. I use that term loosely with the uh, the bonus fruit in that when it's not being grabbed and when it's on the ground, it's going to despawn a lot quicker. I would argue that it's actually really helpful for Pac-Man because it means it's less likely for his oh, opponents God. to steal it. But plenty of time for Pac-Man to use it. Adi, not happy about that one. It's going to be going into Sinji's favor as he finds himself into Winterside Grand Finals. And you know, the execution, you gotta give Sinji a ton of credit on his execution on converting those bell hits, man. It's not as easy as he makes it look, for sure. Like, if I tried it, I'd probably mess it up like the first nine out of ten times at least. And I'm like, oh yeah. Pac Man's a fun character to mess around with, but doing stuff like Sinji does, you gotta hit the books on that. And that's on a player like Odyssey, too, who is an insanely good player, really good movement, but, it, you know, Sinji is just such a force to be reckoned with. Moving on, 